main portion of our card tonight. It's the debut for Desmond Hall. Pretty interesting, a little bit more on that. Desmond Hall doesn't have an official fight, a sanctioned fight, but he's been doing some, what do we call them, kind of backyard brawls. It's the backwood brawls is what he took part in. So he's had several of those kind of fights in the Midwest. He is definitely put together. And so it'll be his first sanctioned fight. And, you know, we'll see how well versed he is on the ground versus, you know, some of those uh, uh, backwood brawls and uh, unsanctioned bouts where it could very much be a striking game. Take a look at the tail of the tape. Adam, seven years younger than Desmond Hall. Uh, Adam's one inch taller, the weight virtually identical. And Adam's has been in the cage once before at 1-0. and oh. So Hall is in the cage. Back to Jeff. And now let's welcome to the cage his opponent, Jacob Adams. So here comes Jacob Adams. Adams out of the chaos camp in Knoxville, Tennessee. Great reaction to Jacob Adams. And what a camp. He's got Josh Kate as yeah. his coach there. And you know the bear isn't going to be allowed to go out there until he's ready to go. And apparently he is. I will tell you one thing, man. These guys are really solid. They got some good size on them. So, hey, these boys about to throw down. It's the middleweight division, baby. <laughs> we got some meat and potatoes in these boys. That's right. Yes, sir. Jacob Adams is uh, just 20 years old, as you can see in the tail of the tape. His coach, Josh Kate, getting work with Pete Roush and Brody Huskins. Uh, Adams, a white belt, and one and in his career. His win was over Byron Tucker. That was at Aries Fight Series 3 on our last show. That was head and arm choke, 259 into round number two. Back to Jeff. Ladies and gentlemen, this next bet of the evening is sponsored by the world-famous Cotton Eye Joe. It's in the middleweight division and scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Your first fighter fighting out of the Allure Properties Blue Corner. He weighed in at 183 pounds. He's making his mixed martial arts debut here tonight. He's an independent fighter from Middletown, Ohio. Give it up for Desmond Hall. And his opponent, fighting out of the Knoxville Mortgage Brokers Red Corner. He weighed in at 183.6 pounds. He has a record of one win with no losses. He's representing Team Chaos right here in Knoxville, Tennessee. This is Jacob Adams. Cut that Joe, this is your main card. Let's get loud. Jacob Adams looks like he has a resting heart rate of about seven right now, as chill as he looks. Desmond Hall in the black and gray trunks. Jacob Adams in the black and red trunks. Middleweight battle 185 MMA presented by Cotton Eye Joe, where we are at right now. Three, three minute rounds. Luke Wilson, our referee, they touch gloves and we are underway. Don't blink, it can be some oh, big time fireworks. Kick off the this back one. from uh, Desmond. Desmond surely is put together. Adams is as well. You see, there's a lot of potential, a lot of power with these boys. So yep. you got to be mindful how you come inside that pocket. Man, they both look bigger than 185 to me. Yeah, big boys. <laughs> Faints there from Jacob. Desmond is staying with it. Still moving around, throwing, throwing little small kicks in there. Do you think it's in Adams's strategy to try to take uh, Hall down to see what kind of you know wrestling he's got? Yes, I, I do feel like we will see eventually a Jacob uh, takedown. Oh, oh, oh see Desmond! It. Desmond shoots the takedown, but that? now he gets the front headlock. He goes for a front a headlock. He's coming up. Desmond working back up, straight to over and under. Good body punches there from Desmond. Good body punches there from Jacob. Now he switches back, put Desmond back on the on the fence. Right now, we're working some cage work right here, baby. Good knee to the body there by Jacob. Good knee to the body again. I think he felt that yeah. one good. Oh, yeah. Good, good <laughs> knee by, to the body there by Jacob once again. Knee to the knee to the thighs. Oh, oh good takedown take there. Tried to grab the cage too. Exposing his back. 
Uh oh, I think we might see another head and arm. Oh, uh, no. Now we got the ground and pound. Look out. Desmond trying to hold on. Desmond's got that right arm tied up. Yeah. What you, yeah, yeah, there you go. Good job. I think you, there you see Jacob. He's trying to do some knees. You can start rising up. Try to put one of his hands on his face and start pushing off his head, mm -hmm. utilizing that. Jacob Adams in his win over Cole Tucker overcame an early adversity with a taken down on a leg kick, but really fought through that. He has not had that adversity so far in this one. Yeah, I remember that fight when Jacob Adams got caught with a head kick, and man, he was like, gosh, that was loud. But man, he, he went through it and kept fighting. Desmond currently, man, uh, he's working. He's trying to hold on. I mean, he does have 40 seconds left, so, you know. Hmm. Well, once he was taken down with that, with that kick, he dominated after that, had top control, and really imposed his will, which is what he's doing to Desmond Hall right now. Adam's keeping that top position. Yeah, really, really dominant performance right here so far from Jacob. You know, having really good top pressure. We would like to see Jacob start to try to start using some of that ground to pound. Good job by Desmond getting back to half guard. I mean, we're seeing some of the ground game from Desmond to be able to survive. Good shoulder strikes Man. there from Jacob. Goodness. Really lethal. Head on the cage, shoulder strikes amongst it. That's really good from Jacob. Nice round, Jeremy. Let's hear you. Of Desmond Hall, too. I promise you, the louder you cheer, the harder the road fight. Take us to this replay here, Tony. Yeah, man. Some good knees to the body he's there. Um, I think that knee. I think that. I think that knee to the uh, to the gut is what really like it, it, he started. felt that Desmond yep. started. Uh, it started the old slot there from Jacob. You see that little small uh, cage grab Somebody there from Desmond, but no worries. There, you see the transition there. It looked like a potential he was going for a head and arm, but uh, Desmond was able to get his elbow back to the mat really quick. And uh, man, this is. This, this is a really good first round start off for Jacob, man. And I think Desmond, I think Desmond got to be a little bit more aggressive. Got to be a little bit more aggressive. Uh, be smart on certain shots he take. But I, I'm looking at Jacob, man. He feels comfortable, man. He's smiling. He's ready to go, man. He's ready to go, man. He's so, smiling. <laughs> so, Samantha, clearly Jacob Adams won that round. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I didn't hear it, but we do get, with the amateurs, we do get the rounds announced. I'm... I'm Pretty confident that it went to Jacob Adams. Yes, it did. It but we'll try to listen for those. So, ready for round number two. Luke Wilson says, let's go. Um, this is on a head kick. Faint from Adams. Adams with a low kick. Desmond better be mindful of, you know, how he's throwing some of these strikes with his hands coming down. To get caught over the top there from Jacob. Hall with a low kick. Better but from Hall though. Good, good combination there from Hall. Much better. Oh, good jab there from Jacob. That was oh, a stumper. not a good, really good uh, straight left there from Jacob again. Uh -oh. uh, and Desmond shoots the take now. You know, Adams has a good takedown defense. Oh, that gives. Guillotine. Uh, I don't. Uh, oh man, look how he fell. Oh man, I think that really put some damp on him, man. I'm kind of surprised that Desmond would try to shoot in on Adams. But he's in it now. Adams is doing a good job by staying sprawled back. Some body shots by Adam. The body shots there from Jacob. Desmond's fighting, man. I mean, he's still trying his best to move. Uh, he, he's got to try to work his way back up, man. You know. I see that potential darts. We could be seeing a... Midway point of round number two. We could be seeing a darts or an anaconda. Well, he let go of it. He let go of it. Uh, he's going back go to the guillotine. team. Let it go. Oh, Desmond's been trying to finish the shot. Oh, oh takedown by Desmond. Oh, uh, big takedown there from Desmond. Big time takedown there from Desmond. Now, now Desmond, I mean, he's in half guard. Now, now Desmond is on top, man. Now he's trying to get the side control. Really good fight here from Desmond, man. And I think that's a big time. Oh, he's, oh. Moving to, he's starting to try to move the mount. Wow. Oh, Desmond is still moving. He's climbing up the body. Hold. Trying to stay heavy on top. Jacob got to start working his way, though. Paul's nose is bleeding. 
It is. So some adversity in round two for Jacob Adams. Uh, now Jacob is starting to turn it back into him. Jacob right there should just drive into him. There you go, as, as he did. Yep. He's been on the guillotine. Uh, that's a guillotine. He's not going to be able to finish that in side control. If he does, I mean, that's, it must be just a pretty tight squeeze, but I doubt he finished that in side control. Adams looks calm. I'm about to say, yeah, right now, now you're about to see a potential fun flu, Cho. Final seconds of the round. Oh, you might see a fun flu. Does he have time oh. to finish it? That's the reason why you cannot hold on to that head in side control. That's the end of the round. Oh, my. We are heading to round three. Round three, baby. Oh, man. So, who would you give that round to, guys? Woo. Woo. I, Desmond made it closer. He did. But I still give that round to Jacob, man. Uh, uh, now you see this potential right here. You cannot hold on to the head right here in side control, man. It, you see what Jacob Adams, he went to the, you know, as, as we got our own guy in the native. Fun Frucho, you know, Fun yeah. Frucho. You can't go to that position uh, because he's about to put that shoulder underneath the neck. And, uh, uh, I'm, you know, Tom saved him. Uh, I feel like if it was a little bit more time, he probably could have potentially got a finish right there. It's but a I, lot of pressure on the neck as well. Lots and lots of pressure. Lots yeah. of pressure. So, Samantha, you would give that round to Jacob Adams as well? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. He uh, returned from being took down by Desmond and then – come back on top and almost had a submission. So if, if you're Desmond Hall's corner, are more? you telling him Not to stay on his feet? Or are you okay with him shooting in if the opportunity is there? Um, I say stand on the feet. Yeah. I mean, with that kind of power on that frame, I, I, that might be his best avenue, but we'll see. Round number three, third and final round in this middleweight bout presented by Cotton Eye Joe. You're live at the world famous Cotton Eye Joe. Oh, good teeth there from Jacob. Ball switching stances. Big, big thing right here, man. Third round, man. That's when it started to be mid. Oh, good straight there from uh, Desmond. See where the gas tank is on these two. Some of the punches starting to look a little slow, a little telegraph there from Desmond. Yeah. But, you know, it's that third round. Jacob got to still move. Oh, another good tee. Ooh, could have been a little low. This is the farthest Adams. Oh, good leg kick there from good leg kick there from Jacob. Good leg kick again there from Jacob. Oh, uh, yeah, Desmond look a little slower. Some deep breaths from Desmond Hall. Yeah, deeper breath there from Desmond. Oh, a little head kick there. Throwing him to the cage. Still That's good. theirs now. Jacob Shashar try to play the add in the Oh, slightly missed with the head kick from Desmond. Oh, another teep. Teeps are starting to add up. Uh, he shoots again. You cannot shoot naked shots like that. Shoot them way from the outside without putting something in front of him. Easy to sprawl, easy to see from a distance. And Jacob says, stand back up. He wants uh, to stay on the feet. Yeah, he's, that means he's going for the win because he's probably got the first two rounds in the bank already. Yeah. He could have rode that out. Yep, he could have. Oh, good spinning Spin back. back fist. Ooh. Oh. Whoa. Ooh. He Slightly does that. Move. Oh, spinning back. Back kick to the body. Going for another shot again. You have a minute left. He's pulling that single inside. He should try to go to the top of the ankle and pull it in. Good punches there from Jacob. Yep. He's trying to work his way to the ankle. No ground and pound is starting to add up. It's start oh, that ground and pound. He got to defend himself. Mm. If he don't yeah. defend himself, Luke Wilson will step in. These are amateurs. They're not going to let him go too long. Adam's doing a really good job of keeping his hips back. And pressure on top of Desmond. 30 seconds left in this one. Crowd into this one. Oh, man. Looking Punches. for a finish. Desmond got to try to work his way back up. He got 15 seconds left. Oh. oh. He's starting to work his way back up. Good punches to the head still. Jacob's still giving a little short shots here and there. He's going to ride this out. 
to a decision victory. Nice job, gentlemen! Good That'll fight. do it. Good fight. Wow. I had to give that to Adam. Good fight. Terrific showing, I think, for Desmond Hall, who yes. had not had a sanctioned fight before. Not had a sanctioned fight. And showed skills beyond maybe what you would think it, it, by fighting non-sanctioned fights. Some, yes. Some guys can fight, some you know maybe not not as much. And, like, and like I said, I think that's a great that's a great fight for Jacob because now he's using this fight uh, for experience. And yes, right here, I mean, he threw that one-two, ooh, that head kick right there, and probably would probably busted him open a little bit, and, along with those little shorter shots. But man, that head kick right there. And then Jacob, you know, as experience grows, you know, he'll start seeing a different opportunities to look more for finishes. But man, what a performance by Jacob Adams, man. That was a really good performance. He good. Yeah, that's good performance there, Bob. Samantha, I thought it was a pretty well-rounded display by Jacob Adams to show his all-around game, right? Oh, yeah. Especially with him being in white belt and has some BJJ. Um, background. I was looking forward to seeing some more BJJ, but he did an overall really good job. They call him the bear working with Josh Cage, who's a terrific guy and was an excellent fighter and now running that Team Chaos camp. And he's going to see his guy, Jacob Adams, the 20 year old, move to 2 and 0. Oh. First time going the distance. So you got some you got some cage time now in addition to a victory. So um, quality win with a lot to take from it for Jacob Adams. But it was certainly a fun fight. All right, let's make this bad boy official. We go to the judges' scorecards. Here is Jeff. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to a judges' scorecard. All three judges see this bout the same way. Your winner, by unanimous decision, Jacob Adams! Unanimous decision victory for Jacob Adams, a 20-year-old, is 2-0. Good show of 